Hey, we're back and uh, no kidding, because we promised uh, we're going to talk about kids and their uh, feet. Dr. Mark Bradley's here from Brantford Podiatry. Unique problems for young people? No, quite common actually. Really? Yeah. So uh, there isn't anything that's indigenous, they just go through the same things younger? Yeah, in a lot of cases and, uh, and many times uh, less hard to uh, pick up on. You know, so it's, you know, the parents come in sometimes and we'll point out, you know, have you noticed this? And they're like, oh my God, I hadn't seen that. And again, you know, they're seeing the same child day in, day out. They don't notice little variations. So sometimes it can be uh, quite revealing. I, you know, the f first question is hit me and again, trying to, you know, stay on the topic as we always try to do. The kids are less active. So does that kind of change the challenge when it comes to diagnosing foot problems? Well, I actually did, there was an article I read recently about children and uh, obesity and the, the relation between that and foot problems. And they were saying it's a perfect storm, right? you know, because of the dietary situation and then the inactivity and the propensity more towards playing computer games and running night and playing, you know, ball hockey. Right. So yeah, it, it, it is much worse. Um, again, with our scope of practice, I mean, we deal with a whole bunch of things. You know, we're dealing with kids with skin infections, uh, discolored nails, lesions in their skin, funny colors, rubs, blisters, ingrown toenails. But yes, we also deal with the, uh, what you're sort of hinting more towards, the, the mechanical stuff, right. how they actually and walk. And can you and solve it easier or better at a young age and not have it become a lifelong ailment? Well, solve is a tough word okay. because for an adult, a lot of the mechanical issues we can't solve right. insofar as a pair of glasses can't solve your visionary defect, uh, but we can certainly make it comfortable and function really well. The nice thing about kids is as they're growing and developing, yes, we can actually improve things dramatically and in some cases, yes, solve them. Can you teach them to walk properly? No, in the same way as with an adult, you, you can't teach, you know, you know, stop walking with your toes right. out, you do that because it's a functional advantage. If we change the functional advantage and help the child, whether it be through a choice of footwear or um, strengthening muscles or giving them some sort of an insert in some cases in their shoes, that'll allow them to overcome that. Yeah. I was thinking specifically about the inserts, maybe yeah, improving the, the gait, the walking style and whatever kind yep. of to, to avoid those lifelong difficulties. And again, the, the, the devices when we do make orthotics for kids, they're completely different from the type of things we would put in an adult. They're much more controlling simply because the foot is so flexible. Right. And you brought something for us to look at. So yeah, there's the a little right video now. here. And again, one of the things most often we have parents asking is, you know, how, how do I know if there's something wrong with my child's foot? And again, visual reference, we, we know what right. good, good alignment looks like. And here you can see the foot's rolling in very, very much and staying rolled in right through the entire contact phase with the ground. Yeah, it was funny. When I looked at top left, I, I don't have your expertise. When I looked at that one shot top left, I almost looked at somebody who looked like they were skating when they were walking, like the foot yep. was going exactly. out and there, to left. That one little clip just shows that young man, the way he walks, his big toe joint locks because his foot rolls in so much. Right. And he just completely wears out the shoe. So very often... Um, it'll be the parents will note that, oh, my, my child's shoes are wearing abnormally. And it, it should be symmetrical. It's not just that they're lazy and walking badly or they're finagling. That was a great video to give, you know, so to give you a slow motion view. But if I'm standing behind a youngster, am I looking for the fact that the one foot and the other and it should be aligned? Okay, that, that's really tough to see. And yeah, that, okay. that's why we have that neat sort right. of video gate analysis <laughs> system. Yeah, okay. But a lot of the times, just with a child standing there, we should see the heels sitting fairly vertical. They shouldn't be collapsed inwards, nor tilting out dramatically. Again, when the child walks, little kids will do funny things to try and avoid that kind of rolling in, or sometimes they'll walk up on the tips of their toes or they'll turn their feet in or out. Like when you see the shoes here, the, uh, the toes drastically worn. Yeah, that's drastic. So, hey, listen, uh, thanks for coming in today and thanks for bringing the video and uh, great information. We'll see you again back here soon. Love to. Dr. Mark Always Bradley, good. brand for podiatry. He's got the answers of the feet and we're coming back. We're gonna work out my feet. Courtney Gray's next right here inside Brand.